Inspiration is going to use that pick. Um, the, 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 one of the ones is conqueror. Amen. Amen. So when you when you fall down in your life, amen, this is where when God comes in, amen, if you have faith, amen, praise the Lord that you will, you will be a conqueror. If you have faith, you will be a conqueror. Amen. That nobody can stand before you. Amen. 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 God before you, then who could be against you? Amen. Amen. I mean, like, who could be against you? Amen. He's like, move out the way, devil. Who could be against you? All right? Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord. We're coming out of Matthew 17 and 20. Amen. You have it to amen. 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 I'm going to tell you uh, this right here. Uh, you can never put God in a box. Mm, say that. Man. Or you can say never that. plan uh, plan something and say, oh, I ain't going to worry about it because I already got it taken care of. Mm. All right? So what happened, okay, this is funny. Uh, Pastor, Pastor said, Brother Barry, I want, I want you to give a message, all right? So I can't tell oh, my God, I ain't going to never do that again. I told Pastor, Pastor, I already got a message. Remember I told you that? <laughs> Say, Pastor, I, mean, I got, I've been working on this message for a long time. <laughs> Amen. So what happened? Uh, I started, uh, you know, studying and studying. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, man, this ain't it. I, God, I changed my message. <laughs> You changed them. When I when I thought that I had the message down pack, I had what I wanted. Amen. But that wasn't what God wanted um said that day. Amen. That wasn't the message that God wanted that day. Amen. So we can't try to put God in a box. Amen. You think that you got everything covered, amen. But you cannot put God in a box. Amen. You think you got it all made out, but you cannot put God in a box. Amen. Tell your neighbor, do not put God in a box. Do not put God in a box. Amen. I know that it seems like you're like, I don't need to practice. I don't need to do this. But you know that God would, would love you to practice. Amen. Even though that you know it, but God got something that he may give to you during your practice. Amen. Amen. Because I learned my lesson when I was a wrestler. I thought that because I went to camp that I was the best. Amen. So I thought that I was hesitating going to practice. And, and, and what happened, I started lifting a lot of weights. I was lifting a lot of weights. So I said, I'm a strong guard, little guys. I'm going to throw them on down. <laughs> and then, and then the coach was like, well, I need you to run, Roy. I need you to run. I said, man. Like, never have a cross-country coach as a, as a wrestler coach. <laughs> we was running. And I running. I said, man, I'm going to take a break on this. <laughs> so you know how we, you know, some people know what I'm talking about. You, you know you can do more, but you, you, you just, all of you moving your arms and make it look like you're doing a lot. Amen. So I was just moving and moving it and got done with my laps. I don't care how long it took me. Amen. But I didn't work hard at all. I didn't work hard at all. Amen. I'm sorry that y'all y'all get to see it. I'm, 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 I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break it back up. All right. But uh, what I what I what I'm talking is that we um. We have to work hard, amen, amen. We have to work hard and we have to, we have to practice. So the, my sermon had changed because I tried to put God in the box, amen. I thought I had it covered. And then when when, uh, when I wanted to wrestle, amen, I went up against a small guy, amen. The guy looked like he was very small, very small, very shriveled, amen. And and he, one thing, when he got out there on the match, he pulled me right back in. I went to shot on him, amen. He was too quick. Amen. I, I was too strong. I was really built. And, and then, uh, and he started to, you know, he took me down, uh, picked me back up, took me down. He was so fast. He went, but the thing is, I was so out of shape because I, I decided to, to take it easy on the run. <laughs> Don't never try to put God in the box. Amen. I'm sorry about this, y'all. Now you understand me. I ain't going to hold you up. Man, I'd like to thank Pastor Allen, amen, for giving me the opportunity, amen. Because now, you know, we got an awesome pastor. 
Y'all, we got to believe that we have an awesome pastor. Amen. 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 He, he, God is blessing him and blessing him. Amen. Amen. He works hard. Amen. amen. And if he don't, if he don't have an answer, he will get back with you. Amen. <laughs> amen. amen. I thank God for my pastor. Amen. For giving me the opportunity. Amen. Coming out of Matthew 17 and 20. Amen. Amen. We're gonna read at the we're gonna read at the 19th verse, okay? Sorry about that. Nineteen and uh, twenty verse. Sorry about that. We're gonna read at the twentieth verse. Alright, read it together. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for very I say unto you. If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto the mountain, Remove him, and out of the place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Unto you, unto you. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, what is the mountain in your life? What is the mountain in your life? What is the mountain in your life? Come on now. Come on. I hear you. Introduction. You will face many challenges in life. Challenges that seem are physically impossible. You tweet and you Facebook on you feel Facebook and you tell people on Facebook that you tried everything. But the question is, have you tried Jesus? Amen. You know that they're gonna to come to you, but they don't want to, they don't want to hear it, amen. But they come, God sending them to you for a reason, so we can't hesitate to hesitate to talk about Jesus, amen. Right. Jesus said, if, if you have faith of a mustard seed, right. you can move a mountain, amen. Mountain. Yep. You can move a mountain. Tell mountain. your neighbor, say you can move a mountain, a mountain. amen. Mountain. What is the mountain in your life, amen? Now, the tallest mountain in the world is 29,000 feet, amen, 8,848 meters, amen. Yes. So this is a big mountain, but something that is so small. So what I did, I was I went to the, uh, I had a seed the size of a mustard seed. I was, so I wanted to call some mustard seeds, amen. All right, my pastor, he's out here to give some people an example. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nigga, go ahead. Come on, come on. Pass some these out. Hold on. There you go. All give, right. me one, give me one of them. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I was looking at it. I was saying, I said, they so small that uh, I had to put four or five in there. <laughs> y'all may try to do a garden. I'm, I'm, I put four or five in there so y'all can see it. So y'all don't think that I'll pull up some cookie crumb and put it in there. <laughs> that was scraping off the table, hey man. So I uh, I looked at the I looked at this seed, hey man. So you tell me it, this is what God says. He said, if you have faith this small, you can't even see it. Yeah. Faith right. this small. That's right. I have to turn on my glasses to look at it more. I got it. See, I got it up to my face. Yeah. So. If you have faith this small, you can move a mountain. Now, he didn't say the small mountain. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sure he's going after the giant. The tallest mountain in the world is 29,000 feet, 8,848 8, 8, meters. Yeah. This is at the sea level, amen. So if you have a faith this small, yeah. amen, God is very reasonable, yeah. amen, that if you have a faith this, this, a faith this small, that he will move the mountain in your life. Right. What is the mountain in your life? You probably saying, why does he keep saying that? We all have something that's standing right before us, amen. Some of some some problem, amen, that's keeping you away from God, amen. Some to some depression and stressful things, amen, that's keeping you away from God. But God said, if you have faith, he will take it out your life. He'll take it out your life immediately, right now. Amen. Some people have the procrastination um. Some people have procrastinating a uh, uh, mountain in their life. Some people got the fear mountain in their life. Some people got the doubt mountain in their life. Amen. Right. But God is here to tell you, amen, that if you have a mu uh, uh, faith. Single time, amen. Praise the Lord. If you have faith this small, then you can move a mountain and he will demolish. 
the mountain in your life. He will tell that mountain to move. Amen. 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 All right. To move the mountain in your life, you have to have belief. Amen. You have to have belief. Amen. Can somebody read um, 20, 28, 28, 28. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Because of your unbelief. The disciples wonder why they couldn't do what Jesus was doing. They wonder why they didn't have the power that Jesus had. Because they were still looking at Jesus as the human being. Jesus said, first you have to believe. All right? First you have to believe. When you believe that God will do things in your life, amen, that is acknowledging him. Amen. Yes, yes. You are acknowledging him. Amen. One thing why Jesus didn't go back to um, his hometown because of their unbelief. Yes. I mean, he went back to his hometown, but he didn't put for miracles there because of his, because of their unbelief. They yes. looking like, I seen you, Jesus. I seen you grow up. How can you be the son of God? I seen you kicking rocks and blowing your nose. How can you be the son of God? Amen. I, you the same kid I seen. How can you be the son of God? But God said if you have to believe. Amen. And then if you believe, he will he will move the mountain in yes, your life. Yes, Amen. Yes. If you believe, he will move the mountain in your life. So the disciples are very they had un unbelief. Yes, Amen. They had unbelief and he and he acknowledged that. Jesus said, Because you have unbelief. Amen. How, how can you? How can I give you what, what you want? Amen. Amen. So we have to believe. Not only that he's the Son of God. Amen. That he's the King of Kings. That he's the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Not only we have to believe that he is our Father. Amen. Amen. You have to believe. And also, you have to believe that he has power, power. through heaven and earth. Yes, amen. amen. You have to believe. Amen. Stay off the physical mind thinking and start getting into this spiritual thinking yes, because God is trying to tell you, yes, amen, yes. to lean not on our own understanding yes. and to always acknowledge Him and He will direct, direct your path, yes. amen. Yes. So not only that you, He said, lean not on your own understanding, stop trying to understand, amen, the physical and start and start acknowledging Him yes, in the sir. spiritual. Yes, amen. And He will take care of yes, the physical. Yes, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, all right. We have to believe in hell. He has all power. Amen. Amen. The, another mountain in our life is fear. My Amen. God. Fear, that. which is the opposite of faith. Amen. That. Fear is you're not you're not trusting God. Amen. Uh -huh. Fear fear has been taken over has taken over a lot of people's lives these days. Amen. Yeah. But God's telling us right now that we have to cast out this fear. Yeah. That is also a mountain. That can stop. There's also a mountain that can keep you away from God. Some people had the fear of falling short. Jesus. Amen. Had the fear of falling short. Let me tell you this example, okay? Some people have a fear of failing. That's why they don't want to take no risks. Amen. They don't want to take a chance because yeah. they had the fear of falling, the fear of taking, a fear of being humiliated. Yes. Amen. Right. So let me tell you about this. Um, we all know who Michael Jordan is. Oh yeah. We all know who Michael Jordan is. Michael Jordan quoted this. He said, I've missed, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. I have, I have lost, I have missed 26 game winning shots. Amen. But there you call it. They see he's in the Hall of Fame, amen, yes, because he did not give up, amen. Yes, so if we constantly give up when we fall down, amen, how would you know what it's like to succeed, amen? amen. If we constantly give up, amen, yes, you will lose, amen. Let's tell your neighbor, it's time to have victory. It's time to have victory. Amen. Another, we have to have the faith that God wants us to have is that calm kind of faith, amen. Now, wow. my sister's here to witness this, all right? We was going to Mississippi, amen. We was driving through, we was heading to Mississippi, and it looked like the trees was leaning down like this. Mm -hmm. and I think, I believe a tornado was on its way through there. Mm -hmm. Leaning down, just leaning, leaning, leaning. Everything was just, the wind was blowing, um, stuff was flying across the road, amen. So, I was, I, she would tell you this, I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. 
I fell no, I'm not driving. I'm not driving. I'm not driving. I fell asleep in a passenger seat while the storm was going on. The car was rocking. My sister was struggling on her. And, and the kids was like, take your. You know, they said, Uncle Roy, how can you sleep right now? That, that's the youngest one right back there. That's Kiana. She said, how can you sleep? Wake up, Uncle Roy. Wake up. But I was back there like this. I, I couldn't believe that I was sleeping through some something so I was sliding all over, we were sliding all over the road. The car was rocking. We had a bad car too. Water was coming in on my feet. I, I, the water came on my feet, and I was still sleeping. I, I was out, Amen. So it is just showing you that um, if you have faith, Amen, that God will clear up the storm, yes, Amen. Yes. Then you have nothing to worry about. Amen. You have amen. nothing. To, you know, God. Another storm to talk about, Amen. So when the, when Jesus was on the boat, <laughs> the disciples, we was all they was all going through the storm as well. They were. Rocking and rocking and turning, rocking and turning, rocking and turning. Amen. But the disciples got worried and they got scared. Amen. They was like, oh, and they ran up in there and they got Jesus. Amen. They went and talked to Jesus. They said, Jesus. And then Jesus got up and he's like, oh. He got out and he said, peace be still. Yes. Amen. So how, how are we scared, amen, these days? And we have Jesus yes, on the boat sir. with us. Yes, sir. All right, all right. You have Jesus in your corner with you. Yes. So you have no reason to be feared, amen. You have no reason to be scared. How are you scared of the one that can control the storm, amen? Yes, you may go through a storm in your life, amen. Trust me that Jesus has not left you in that middle of that storm, amen. Yes. While you are nervous, amen, Jesus wants us to have that calm kind of faith, amen. Yes. So while you're nervous, Jesus is sitting in your corner all calm. And he wants you to be calm with him. Amen. So God wants us to have that. Jesus wants us to have that calm kind of faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nothing's impossible. So how many times we we try things and we fail. Amen. Uh, just keep asking me. <laughs> Come on Leah. 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 <laughs> we we kind of still want to give up in life. I, mean, I missed her point, so, so she, was, she, she would never forgive me for this. <laughs> you forgot about me! <laughs> Alright, so we'll, no matter how, well, this is one of the, this is one of the tasks that, I, I tell you, you fail a lot! <laughs> you, you hit your legs a lot, it's hard to keep going and going and going and going and going and, and you, you mess up a lot. Yeah. So this is something that you do. This is a good example of, of having faith, amen. And then keep on going. Go ahead, Trey. Ready? So, I, but ain't she good? I done picked the wrong one. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> I think she knew I was gonna do this. All right, I should have caught her off guard. All right, all right. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. You got an A in gym. No matter what, how much you keep on mess, um, um, no matter what, how much you try your best, Amen. We always mess up. Even then, when we, when I see when my sister and them used to do double dutch, Amen. They would have the perfect form. They would spend all day on that form. They, they just, they spend all day on that form, all day. They got the perfect form. As soon as they get in there, they, the rope stop. So, <laughs> but that doesn't stop them. They get back out there again. <laughs> Try it again. They hop in there and the rope stop. They will, they don't care if they get at least three three steps in there. Amen. They will start over and do it again. Amen. So we cannot give up. Amen. Even when th we mess up in life, how would you learn? Amen. This is where your strength or the strength comes in. I know you want to go in the time machine and change some of the things you did, but how how would it make you stronger? Amen. I know you want to get in the time machine like, like back to the future. Amen. <laughs> but how would that make you stronger today? Amen. If you didn't experience that. What you've been through in life, that is your testimony. You can help the person right next to you. You can help your children right next to you. God don't want us getting in a time machine going back then and, and try to switch up. How the lesson is going to get learned. Amen? Amen. And point number three, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you should be able to tell the mountain to move. 
to move. Amen. Amen. So move. Another kind of faith that God would love us to have is the Abraham kind of faith that you believe in and you believe in the promise that you believe in his promise that he will never leave you nor forsake you. That's another faith. That is another faith that God will us to have. You have to have the faith that God will protect you. Amen. So not only that you scared, you got to stop being scared, but you have to believe that he will protect you. Like the, I use that as an example as the shield of faith. Amen. The shield of faith protects the rest of the armor. Amen. Even though the armor is made for combat, and even though the armor is made to be hammered on. Amen. God bless us with the shield of faith. Amen. Right. To protect us. Amen. So that, that will empower us and give us more power. Amen. Amen. We have to, we have to, this day is help one another. We have to pray for one another. Amen. We have to strengthen one another. Amen. We we have to we need to be there when the phone rings and your brother and your sister need you more than anything. Right. We have a lot of children that is needing Amen help these days. Amen. Do not sit there and complain at them. Don't sit there and talk talk about them. Help them. Amen. Amen. If you want them to pull their pants up, give them a belt. Amen. You want them to dress right, give them a tie. Amen. Amen. You want them to smell good. Amen. Talk to them on the side. Amen. That's one thing about us that we, we had to help and support, amen, because there was a time that we was all down, amen. amen. There was a time that we struggled, amen. amen. There was a time that we didn't have anything, amen. amen. A lot amen. of people have that story, amen. amen. You can't, now don't act like you never been through the storm, amen, amen. because we all go through the storm, amen, amen. but God placed you in the light to, to help somebody, amen, get through their storm, amen. amen. So your testimony will help you. And it will help you, help you kids, amen. Support your kids, amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise Tell your neighbor to use, amen. Tell your neighbor to use that fifth, no, that sixth sense, amen. That sixth sense. That sixth sense, which is faith, amen. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. Tell your neighbor to use that sixth sense, which is faith, amen. We are with, praise the Lord. With, amen, amen. I thank God Almighty for waking me up this morning. I thank God Almighty for blessing me to see another day. I thank Him. I thank God Almighty because He He did not look down on me. I changed in so many ways that I did so many things in my life. Amen. But we gonna tell you one thing: we have a forgiving God. That there's not a sin. Amen. We have a forgiving God. There is not a sin. Amen. That God will not forgive. Me. Amen. So. Trust Him. Amen. Have faith and God will move the mountain in your life. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, God will move the mountain in your life. Say, God will move the mountain in your life. Say, God will move the mountain in your life. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. And say, I love you, Jesus. Say, I love you, Jesus. Amen. Give him the glory. Amen. Say, I thank you. Your belief will move a mountain. Amen. Amen. If you have faith of a mustard seed, he said you will move, he will move a mountain. Do not give up, children. Amen. When you fail that test, amen, try again. Amen. When you, when you mess up in life, get back on that horse. Amen. Do not give up on God. Amen. Let's all stand. Amen. And tell God, say, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Do you have a do you want a relationship with Jesus Christ right now?